I don't think that there are fewer male victims. I, I don't think there are fewer men who are victims. Uh, after all, about half of all narcissists are women, and all narcissists are abusers. It stands to reason that the number of male victims and female victims, um, the numbers are the same. It's just that men are victimized differently. There is a disparity in physical power, for example, so men are unlikely to be physically or less likely to be physically abused. But men are as much victims of narcissistic abuse and other types of abuse as women. And women today are equally as likely to be narcissists and closing the gap when it comes to psychopathy. <laughs> Actually, shortly, I think half of all psychopaths would be uh, women as well. But men feel less comfortable to admit to having been victimized and traumatized. Because to be victimized and traumatized is perceived as a weakness, a kind of deplorable and ridiculous vulnerability. It's a feat, it's effeminate to have been victimized and traumatized. It means something's wrong with you as a man. It defies and negates masculinity, especially toxic masculinity, but also classical, traditional masculinity. Men don't cry and men don't don't lie down, don't take it lying down, and men don't just give in, and men fight back, and men are never victims, and a real man is never traumatized. He faces the exigencies and vicissitudes and difficulties of life head on um, and copes with them as a man. Be a man, you know, man up, and so on and so forth. So it's perceived as a weakness. And a vulnerability and it's something women do you know women do trauma women do victimhood men don't and if you've been victimized as a man something must be wrong with you i don't know maybe you're just stupid maybe you're gullible maybe even you had it coming maybe you deserved it it, it it's inconceivable that a man would be victimized and traumatized unless something is wrong with that person with that man functionally, mentally, physically, psychologically, circumstantially, his past, his underqualifications, his lack of education, his laziness. His... So this is known as attribution error. Attribution error when, when you say someone's behavior and someone's personal history, autobiography, and someone's traumas and someone's uh, episodes of victimhood they're all reflective, they're all, they all emanate from someone's essence. In the case of a woman, she is a victim. She has nothing to do with the abuse. The abuse is imposed on her. At least this is the stereotype. Women are not guilty. They're not to blame for having been abused. But men are. When a woman is abused, something is wrong with her abuser. When a man is abused, something is wrong with him and so this is an asymmetry which makes it very difficult for men to come forward and confess to having been abused and and to share instances of trauma and pain and to admit to em emotions which are out of control and you know unmanageable and so on and so forth men do this um you know with a very good friend or with a therapist but most of them would be loath and reluctant to come out in public the way women do on forums and, and so on and so forth and to say, I've been sufficiently weak, I've been sufficiently unguarded, I've been sufficiently vulnerable, I've been sufficiently effeminate, <laughs> feminine to have been victimized and, and traumatized. I, I got the, bi the men business thing, I got it wrong. I don't know how to be a man. What man would admit to this? Except me, of course. <laughs>